So wedges, like I've had these for two seasons now. Yeah, two seasons now. Yeah. I love them. I love them. They maintain the, the feel and the spin for as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. I've always enjoyed that raw finish. Now, no, that's not always available mm -hmm. um, to players, but just the, the whole look of the head for me is amazing. It's the amazing. shape is good. Leading oh. edge is good. Yeah. So we have our snake bite. 2.0 wedges as I call them, mm -hmm. um, which is going to be the same base shape. We have a new groove, which is designed to produce more spin or more consistent spin, especially on the partial swings and two finishes. We got your chrome and we got your black. Right. So we went satin because chrome on a wedge is blinding. Up. Yep. And then we went with a completely matte satin black wedge, okay. which has no glare to it whatsoever. Okay. So let's have a look at these head design. So they're very much yeah. identical. Yep. Uh, one huge change though, when it comes to the wedges is starting with the 56, 58 and 60 degree wedge, we go full face on the grooves. Full face? Full face. So everything? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And what's the So the, the, the behind? idea behind full face wedges is you're going to hit more partial shots. You're going to hit more open face shots. You're going to hit more bunker shots with something that has more loft. Mm -hmm. So we extend the groove all the way out to create just a little bit of friction out there. Yeah. Because most of the time when you hit a lob shot, where's your average impact location? Yeah, kind of high and telly. Yeah. So by shifting the grooves all the way to the edge of the face, it gives you something to pull on that golf yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. And kind of disperse any matter that might get stuck in between the yep. club face. And you always see that little blotch of grass yeah. staying out on the yep. toe there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So feel wise though, when we're hitting them, I'll start off with mine and then I'll mm -hmm. just hit the other two there and I'll hit, what do you reckon, 50 yarder? Yeah. Just so that first green should be like 64 from where you're at today. Sixty-four and a half. <laughs> yeah, I love, and for me, the fitting component of this, I love the feel of these, the the weight of them, the shafts, mm -hmm. S400s I've got in these. Yep. Would I be changing anything from your yeah. perspective? Yeah, uh, I mean, typically when it comes to a wedge, you always ask the player, how is it being used? Is it a full swing club? If it's a full swing club, we actually have a completely different line of wedges mm. that are geared towards full swing golfers only, yeah. which is going to be our SBX, which is our first ever cavity back wedge, okay. which is designed to blend into more of an iron, yeah. match yeah. the pitching wedge, match the gap wedge, then we go 52, 56, 60 available. And those are full swing, thicker sold wedges okay. versus our snake bite wedges, which are going to be more of your traditional wedge, mainly used for, don't get me wrong, you can still hit full swings with them, but it's for that golfer that plays those finesse shots yeah. that don't always hit a full wedge and you need a little bit more precision, a little tighter so on those. Yeah, and let's let's be honest, I would say that most players need to always look to err away, away from hitting those full shots Correct. anyway, because you're gonna get way more control of your launch and spin if you're able to hit and control like an 70, 80% yard shot, 80% mm -hmm. swing, because you're just going to have so much better ball flight control rather Correct. than just trying to rip a wedge with so much loft. Yeah, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Looking down, it looks beautiful. Good shape, really clean aesthetics to it. The satin finish is really nice. We're pretty much dead into the sun right now and they don't glare. Yeah, where that sun would be, I would be. Yeah. In my face. And then um, the black finish, black DBM finish. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to feel maybe a little bit firmer. So this is what I've always had previously mm -hmm. before the roll. Yep. So you notice the pitch is just a little bit different. Yeah. Feel off the face a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Does ball speed change at all when that? No. 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 Uh, that feel difference is a sound difference in the process of plating the club versus okay. chromium in the club or satin chromium in the club.
Yeah. Look, they all feel pretty much the same, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. And preference on finish. And if you're looking to maybe get a little bit more forgiveness out of those full swing shots, then definitely the cavity back option sounds great. Correct. But for me, I think I'm going to stay with these ones.